stelling here with Tini Bamberger from War Talk Safaris. Tini, we had an awesome week so far. Um, this morning, waiting for the sun to come up. We already started driving about 45 minutes ago, looking for some fresh tracks. We found some some tracks and uh, just tell us quickly what the plan is this morning. Well, we've, um, from where we have stopped yesterday, we've determined that some lions are crossed over this road and then some still on the other side where we had that uh, drag marks of ours uh, yesterday. So hopefully we'll catch up with some fresh poor and we'll have something to work from. Okay, a, a, a couple of kilometers back we found a track which we determined at the moment is the, is the best one to take. So we're just going to drive one or two or three roads more and then we're going to start from there if we don't find anything fresh out. Yeah, yeah. we want to make sure that um, that same spoor didn't just circle around and then went back into the direction that it came from towards that riverside. Yeah. So if we don't see anything going back, then we'll go back to that spoor and start on foot from there. Okay, looking forward to the day. Let's go. Okay. afternoon we um, you can see the, the drag marks the tree we have at the back of the car so when we left this area yesterday obviously we covered our own tracks and the soft sand made it possible we can pick up lion tracks like this in the morning and check, check how nice and clean and fresh it looks there so that's the advantage of, of um, of pulling the, the brown ground and now what we're doing this morning is we try and determine how fresh it is because this can be anything from two hours to 12 hours old so uh, yeah, we're just walking this work just checking where it's heading off and then as the as the tracks are going to leave the road somewhere we're going to leave the vehicle behind and then we're going to we're going to go in on foot i think they just made that call in any case so i think we're going to go on foot from here uh, leave the car behind
we've been uh, we've been on some fresh poor for about two hours this morning and uh, this poor we've been following is met up with some other lions so it's making it a little bit difficult we lost the poor right now we're just trying to eliminate and um, get the right spur to continue we managed to um, pick up some um, fresh poor after eliminating all the odd spores that were old in yesterday's and the day before spoor where we lost it a little earlier and um, it seems like there's more than one lion now so we're gonna take this poor from here it's crossing this riverbed hopefully we'll catch up with it soon of some lion we saw a male one possibly two females and it seems like this poor is split here so we must make sure that we're following the female tracks and leave the male unless they stay together it will be good if they split up it makes it easier for us Stefan, we managed to see a lion and a lioness earlier and now um, after what three four hours already um, the lions are heading into some buffalo spoor here so we have to be looking I hope um, we catch up to them before dark again but um, maybe we'll run into some buffalo now we need to be awake and there's uh, what three four hours left in the day yeah a couple of hours three three four hours if we uh, push the last light but um we know we are on them. We know the lions are in this specific block that we are working on now. Yeah. So we have a good chance of catching up to them now. Okay. And in the in in the in the heat of the day, they tend to lie down more frequently. So that's uh, that's also why we're hunting now and not stopping. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean it's in the heat. It's what half past two. So usually, if we were hunting plains game or anything else, we would be relaxing now. But we know the lions won't go on with this heat, yeah. so it gives us time to catch up to them. Okay.
so two sets of tracks. So uh, they split up. Well, turn around. We left him alone. We're just gonna check if we can follow the female for a couple of minutes because it's almost getting too dark. Uh, if you screw up a shot now, you can land in trouble. So rather just mark the spot and uh, continue tomorrow. We just cut another uh, branch down. We're gonna drag it behind the car around these blocks that we hunted this whole day. The lies just kept on moving in circles. So tomorrow morning we have a fresh, a fresh starting point with uh, with all the roads covered. So then if a lion leaves the block during the night, we can see where they headed off to. Back to camp, we are uh, on this road, we're driving past, and um, as we were approaching the dam, stopped and just checked where we must uh, drag the branch we just cut. And as we were standing here and discussing the plan for tomorrow, two lion appeared over the over the dam wall. So uh, we know they're in the vicinity, so we're just going to continue with the with the branch around these blocks and then start with that with those fresh tracks tomorrow morning. Day three of our of our uh, trip here to Tini at Wartok Safaris, we just encountered. Uh, it's a single track, eh, Tini? Yeah, it's a single uh, lioness track um, that went over the drag that we made last night. Yeah. So. so again, this is anything from two minutes to twelve hours old. Yeah, it looks a little bit, you know, like it was um, early, early hours, early hours of the morning. Because it looks like there's a little bit of dew on it. It's settled a little bit, this poor. Okay. So. But we just we just heard some lions roar to to the left. We, yeah. Um, yeah. So what we got to do is, is um, we know this poor is going over the drag that we've made. We're going to go um, further on with this road and see if we can see whether it crossed back. We heard, we're hearing some lions now. Um, on the left side of the road from where we are standing now and this spoor is going to the right side so there's definitely a spoor going that side but we got to determine whether this spoor is actually turning back yeah. or one lioness has gone over and the other lions are still on yeah. the left side of the block We're having a welcome break. Um, there's no time to be going back to the lodge for, for lunch, so you've organized us something in the felt. We're gonna have a, a quick lunch and then we're gonna continue again. Uh, we started early this morning. We've been pushing for, I don't know, four hours, maybe four or five hours. Um, managed to find some spoor, but there was a lot of animals on top of the spoor, so 
we we lost the spoor and um, like you say time to to eat take a break and we'll go on in a little bit thanks man had a quick lunch break in the field and uh, as we were checking the checking the uh, road for tracks our tracker spotted a lioness lying in the bush so we drove past about four or five hundred meters so we uh, just got our gear together got off the vehicle so we're gonna continue on foot hopefully we can still find her um, but if we if even we, if we don't find her we know she was there then, then we have a very fresh track to work from Last year was quite a tough day, we've tried, um, we've been on several stalks, every time we think we are on the right spur it seems like a bunch of animals went over it and then we lose the track again and we managed to pick it up a few times but um, you know, lots of trying but no cigar yet. Yeah, it was a tough day, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was really hard trying to stay motivated all the time and uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a long day, we started here, yeah, sunrise and there is the sun going so uh, but yeah let's have a nice meal this evening and have a drink or two and regroup and tomorrow morning we start early again we've uh, at least one positive is we covered a, a, a very large area with the with the branch behind the vehicle so at least tomorrow hopefully the lions move during the night one thing we do suspect is that they might have, have caught something something big and been lying down the whole day feeding and resting so uh, if they got something big, they don't need to move. And so. that's that's what we that's what we figured out today. They yeah. didn't move. We we crossed our own tracks over and over again with no yeah. lion tracks. On. So yeah. they stayed put for the day. But yeah, thanks. It was still a, still a great great day. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we we have some more action. But um, we saw some 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 great animals again today. We saw those fish eagles and. Beautiful uh, kudus yeah, yes, from a lot the of golden kudu. wildebeest. So we managed to yeah. see a lot of game. It's just, and we actually pick up some lion spoor in an area where we haven't even looked yet. We, yeah. you know, this forced us to go into some territory that we haven't been into since yeah. we started to hunt, and we managed to pick up some spoor there. Yeah. So hopefully we'll we'll catch onto a, a fresh track tomorrow morning early, and um, let's see what we have by noon. Let's, Let's move. go. Right. Early morning, day four of our, of uh, our line on the poor Tini. We just found the um, sun still coming up on day four. And um, we just found a fresh lion track crossing the road. So we're circling the first block and see to see where, where she exited. So, uh, yeah, yesterday was a long day, tough day, looking for tracks, losing them all the time with all the animals. Um, but hopefully this morning we can be on a fresh track nice and early. Good 
Anthony, what's the plan? Well, uh, Stefan, we've been working this poor for about two hours since very early this morning. Um, Werner and Tilmore says that they pick up the spoor and um, that's very, very fresh. We eliminated some spoor earlier this morning. Yeah. Um, we drug the roads, so I think we we are on it now. So let's move in. Stefan, congratulations. We finally came upon this female. We hunted several days. This lioness is really beautiful, good condition. You can see she's been out here for a long time, fight it a lot, lots of um, battle scars on it. But you managed to put some great shooting onto it. We've had uh, a couple great days of hunting. We've enjoyed it, really. It was a pleasure hunting with you and um, well done. Good shooting. That 500 of yours did it again. Tini, thank you so much. Uh, it, was a, it was a special couple of days. Um, We did this a year ago, uh, the same kind of thing, me and Ronald, and um, we hunted in a total different area from where we are now. And since we planned this hunt, uh, I mean, it, it was middle of, uh, towards the end of last year, that we decided we're going to come and hunt a lion with you here in the bushveld. I knew, I knew, and I had this, this, this perception in my mind that it's going to be different, but I didn't know what to expect. And uh, this last three days was just an absolutely unforgettable experience it was it was to totally different from from what we have experienced in the past um it i mean to to be able to walk amongst a couple of these cats and not a, not 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 only one li one line that's 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 been hunted you know that that changes the ball game we, we saw that with ronald's hunt where there were three maybe four lions all together i mean 20 or what meters away, you know. Uh, f from the word go, it was a dangerous situation there. And um, I mean, the last couple of days on the tracks of of of, of these cats, it's just something I'm I'm gonna remember for a while. And and, and to be able to to do it amongst buffalo, uh, the beautiful sable we saw, the abundance of game here. It's just I mean, no one of these lions are in this this good condition. I mean, they they uh, yesterday, and that was the big problem yesterday. We we um, a couple of times. We were on the tracks, fresh tracks, and then it's just with, with the abundance of game here, they just kill all the tracks and, and you have to start from scratch. So, But, I mean, the fish eagles, the crocodiles, it's just, yeah. it's, it's been an awesome month. I mean, uh, that in, 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 in our success story in South Africa, our model that we've created over the years, um, 
the hunting model, but not only that, you know, I, I would like to call it a conservation model that we've created. Um, this is a good, as good as it's going to get. Yeah. So uh, from my side, and I'm sure from Ronald's side as well, uh, thank you so much. You've treated us like royalty this week. Um, you have an awesome place here, and, and the hunt was, was absolutely fantastic. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Good job, guys.